Hello viewers, hello beloved, hello children of God. Good to see you today. Praise be the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for coming back to watch my content. Welcome home, my returning subscribers. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for always sharing this content to your network. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I don't take it for granted. My prayer to you today is that may God bless you, may God enrich you, and may God meet you at your most point of need. And if you're new here, you've just come across this channel. Welcome to this family. My name is Ruth. I share faith-based videos. I motivate you and I inspire you. So God has led here with a purpose and God wants to do something new in your life. I'm going to encourage you. If this is the kind of content you've been looking for, content to nourish your soul, content to inspire you, then you're in the right space. I'm going to encourage you, please proceed and subscribe to these messages down below here and put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first call to be notified. I'm so going to encourage you anytime you visit Inspiration Garage, kindly go back to your previous messages and watch them. Trust me, you're going to be inspired, you're going to be motivated to the glory and honor of God. So today, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, grab a glass of juice for today. I have a very interesting video for you and today you're talking about the power of separation. So if you're interested in this kind of content, then watch up to the end of this video today. And today I want to share with you a short story about my journey to salvation. And today I hope that you're going to learn something by the end of our today's message today. I've shared on this platform before uh, my journey to salvation and how God found me, how the grace of God found me. I'm going to tag that video somewhere here. If you haven't watched that video and if you're interested in knowing my journey to salvation, I'm going to tag that video somewhere here so that you can be able to catch up with us on this platform today. So when the grace of God found me, I was led into separation. And some of those separations were very painful. I was forced to separate from anything that could hold me not to serve God. So I had that urge and something new was about to be birthed. Something beautiful was about to be birthed out of my life. I want you to understand today in this message, when God wants to use you, he will separate you. Whereby he molds you, he crushes you in that secret place, and you come out a better person. In Matthew 7, 7, Jesus is teaching us to exclude ourselves and to go pray. Exclude yourself and go to the secret place and pray. Don't be like the hypocrites who shout in the synagogue because their reward is here on earth. The power of God works in the secret place. The power of God works in the hidden secret place. So there is power in the secret place. There is power in separation. And before you find yourself in the secret place, God must have worked on you, separated you from the world to hide you in the secret place and to start working on you, to mold you, to crush you, to purify you, so that he makes you to be his vessel, to use you for his own glory. Many times you have seen in the word of God whereby Jesus separated himself and excluded himself to go and pray. So it's biblical. Do not cherish the limelight. Let Jesus himself advertise you. When he hides you in the secret place, he is the one who is going to reveal you. He reveals a beautiful thing. He reveals a beautiful thing that he has worked on. He has modified. He has crushed to his own glory. So it's important for you to understand the power of separation and the power of hiding yourself in the secret place. And I'm going to give you a reference in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Jesus hid himself, number one, when he wanted to handle a major task. After Jesus was baptized, he spent 40 days of praying in the wilderness. And after he was tempted by Satan and then began his public ministry. When Jesus wanted to start his public ministry, what happened? Jesus separated himself and he hid for 40 days to pray because he was preparing to handle a major task. The second reason why God separates you from the world is because he wants you to recharge. God wants to work on you. God wants you to recharge. So that when you come out of the secret place, you 
you are empowered, he wants to work on you and he wants to pour fresh anointing in your life. You can agree with me, after 21 days or 40 days or 3 days of prayer and fasting, you come out empowered, a new person, a new creature, fresh anointing. You are a powerful giant when you leave the secret place. I'm going to give you a reference in the book of Mark chapter 6 verse 30 to 32. Jesus separated himself to recharge after hard work in ministry. Jesus sent the 12 disciples out to do ministry. When they returned, he encouraged them to separate from people who are following them to rest. So you also need to rest, to strategize, to empower, and all that can only be done in the secret place. Another reason why God separates you from the rest is God wants you to meditate. It's only in the secret place where meditation takes place. When God wants you to meditate, he will separate you from the rest. And I'm going to give you a reference in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 12 to 13. The word of God says, before making an important decision in his ministry, Jesus spent the whole night alone in prayer. So when he separates you, he wants you to spend time with him in prayer. So he wants you to meditate so that you can be able to make important decisions in the secret place. The next day, he chose his 12 disciples in a time of distress. Hours before Jesus was arrested, that is in Luke chapter 22, verse 39 to 44. Hours before Jesus was arrested, he went to the Mount Olives and went a short distance away from his disciples to pray. But God separates you from the rest for you to be able to meditate, to focus. Because after the secret place, you come out empowered, you come out strong, you come out with fresh anointing, so you must be separated. When God wants to do something new in your life, when something new has to be birthed in your life, you must be separated. And you must be ready to submit to the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus works on you alone and he must work on you in the secret place of prayer. So you must cherish your secret place, which is prayer. Because in the secret place, there is creativity. In the secret place, there is new beginnings. In the secret place, new things are birthed from the secret place. So you must find time to separate and be in the secret place. Many times we reject the voice of God. We reject the instruction from the Holy Spirit, separate. You know, sometimes you even fall separate from your spouse. Sometimes you exclude yourself and you leave your spouse alone because of the matters of the kingdom, you have to go alone. You need to understand that spiritual matters are revealed in the secret place. It's only in the secret place where you'll be empowered. It's only in the secret place where you'll be groomed. It's only in the secret place where God will crush you. It's only the secret place where you will get deeper revelations about the kingdom. It's only the secret place where you will be able to meditate about your future. It's only the secret place where the glory of God will shine. Do not struggle to be seen. Do not struggle to be identified. Brethren, submit to the authority of the Holy Spirit. When he tells to separate, obey the voice of God and separate. Because after separation, God will place you in a secret place. God will hide you. He will work on you. And by the time he wants to reveal you, he will reveal a beautiful thing, an empowered thing, a strong thing, a powerful giant woman of God. He will come out a glorious person and his glory will not be hidden. God will put you on a hill that cannot be hidden. You will shine like a diamond. The glory of God will be all over you. You will shine like never before. You will be empowered. You will command that mountain to move and that mountain will submit. You will command authorities. The world will submit to you. Beautiful things are born from the secret place. So allow God to hide you for sometimes the secret place. 
Allow God to mold you in the secret place. Allow God to crush you in the secret place. Allow God to work on you in the secret place. Because by the time the end product will be revealed, something good will sprout out of you and it will be a glorious, beautiful, finished product. Breathless. I hope that you have learned something from this video. I hope that you are taking something out of this video. Power of separation. Power of secretness. I hope that you have learned something. You don't need to carry everyone on your journey. Sometimes when God wants to birth something beautiful, he will separate you. Please submit to the authority of the Holy Spirit. May God give us wisdom, you and me. May God give us the wisdom and understand his ways and understand the deeper revelation of his word. And I'm going to encourage you, if this message has inspired you, kindly like this video and really support this channel. And please subscribe to these messages if you haven't. And I'm also going to encourage you, please share this video to your network. Share, share, share these messages so that you can reach many people on YouTube as much as possible to the glory and honor of God. And thank you so much for being here. And I'm also going to see you next time in our next video and tell someone about Jesus today. Goodbye and until next time.